guys welcome back today i'm going to be walking you through this hairstyle step by step lately i've been using the t3 airbrush duo thank you t3 for sponsoring this i've been using this to get this sort of like loose curl effortless look that's perfect for the holiday season this is a look that i think you can wear every day but also if you dress up you would also look super glam for like a holiday party. I have been on the hunt for a blow dry styling brush like this that doesn't break the bank, but also doesn't break your hair off. So T3 came out with this and it is the perfect tool. So I can't wait to show you how I use this. It cuts the time in half. You look very glam, very put together, but it's very easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. So to start off, my hair is about 80% dry. I'm actually, it might be a little bit less than that. It might be more like 60% dry, but um, I'm ready to do my hair. So <laughs> we're gonna start now. So this is the Airbrush Duo from T3. It has two interchangeable brush heads. This is the one that I usually use because I like a more full voluminous look, but you can easily change out your style if you're looking for something more sleek and straight then definitely go for the paddle brush. So this has five different heat settings. It has the booster, so you can get more of that voluminous look. It also has a blow dry intensity level. On the back you have the power button and a cool shot so you can cool your style into place so it will help it to last longer and set in that exact style. So what I've actually been doing is styling the front part of my hair first because these pieces dry the quickest. I can hit those first so that they're styled and then if they need to get hit again at the end, I can do that. But I always usually start up the bottom, which I will after I do the front, but I've learned to start with the front pieces. So I'm actually gonna part this where my ear is at. And I do have tape-in extensions. What I love about this Airbrush Duo is that it doesn't melt off my extensions like other styling brushes I've tried in the past. I'm just gonna tie that in the back. So what I'm going to do, brush this forward. When it's on, I'm gonna take this and brush it this way and then let it hold in that spot. So it's gonna dry it and style it and so that when the hair falls, it will fall and kind of like go away from the face. So I'm gonna be blow drying it in the opposite direction. So I like to keep mine, um, because I have like more fine to medium hair texture, I'm gonna keep it on the second or the third setting. And I am gonna keep the booster on so I get that more voluminous look. And then I also keep this on probably the medium or the highest setting for the airflow. I don't gotta turn it on. <laughs> have this beautiful voluminous almost like a 70s flip okay this looks crazy right now don't worry when the rest of the hair is done it will look really good <laughs> i'm gonna section my hair in half and then i'm gonna section this horizontally so about right above the ear and up so you wanna take a section that's about an inch in thickness. What I'm gonna do is brush it through on both sides, so over the top and underneath. And then when I'm ready to style, brush it and then flick the hair so it's going around on the other side. And then I'm gonna pull it and wrap it up and let it sit so that it can set in that style. Obviously you wanna do this while it's on, I'm just talking through it so that you can hear what I'm doing. Then after it's here, you wanna turn it off and then you'll undo it and you'll be left with a curl. with this beautiful voluminous bouncy curl and I kind of just like to do this that it kind of sets in that style 
while I do the rest of the hair and then I can brush it out. So I just continue that throughout the rest of the hair. gives you this nice soft effortless blowout voluminous glam hairstyle it's kind of hard to tell right now because i don't have the rest of it done but this is what we're working with so far so i'm just going to continue to repeat this throughout the rest of the hair is this side finished what I'm gonna do is just spray it with some hairspray this one's new to me it's the color wow hairspray so I'm just gonna take this and just lightly spray this through the hair and then with this off I'm just gonna go through and just brush through it because it is a more firm hairspray I want it to be a little bit more lightweight and flexible okay so I'm gonna let that sit while I do the other side and then at the end I'll just go through and do just a couple of touch-ups if I feel like I need them I usually end up going through and touching up the front pieces although this front piece is looking pretty good right now so I think one of the key things to remember when I'm doing my hair like this is to keep the airbrush duo horizontal so i don't keep it vertical when i'm doing the styling portion where i'm like holding the look in place i'll do that sometimes when i'm trying to get it, the hair dry but when it comes to like the styling portion of it i try to keep it going sideways like this because that's going to help give that volume and style one thing i love about this is it has that t3 ion flow technology so it gives an ion enriched airstream and that just makes sure that it's very precise and that your hair doesn't get really frizzy it looks really shiny so it's just like a nice sleek effortless look it's funny because i feel like this looks really effortless but also that i tried really hard and i don't know if that's just because anytime i see girls that have this just like effortless like blown out old hollywood but simple chic hair i've never known how to do it and it's taken me a while to figure out the technique but the wrapping it around and holding it that's the sweet sauce okay so i'm gonna go and do the other side of my hair so what i'm gonna do is just push this back grab this section at top of the ear i usually do three separate sections on each side so i do top of the ear and then top of the brow and then when I'm doing this side, you want to make sure that everything is away from the face. And I feel like the best way to know that you're doing that is that when you finally go in to do the style, you want the brush to be on top of the hair, not underneath the hair like this. look I feel like it just looks so effortless and glam at the same time this is a hairstyle that you can wear every day or you can dress it up for a holiday party it's just been my go-to I like the bigger curls that it gives it kind of gives like an old Hollywood sort of vibe if you wanted to do a little bit even more relaxed you could go in with the straight paddle brush and just hit the ends to straighten them out a little bit so then it would look a little bit more like this and give you more of like a very loose wave but i kind of like the little flip it kind of goes with the whole 
look. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along, seeing how I get this hairstyle. You've been seeing me rock this look for probably about a month now. It's just my favorite at the moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much T3 for sponsoring this. I will link every product that I use down below in the description box so you can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.